Hello, and thank you for watching. My name is Rachel Barnett with Gentle Frog. I'm here to create videos for you to help you understand QuickBooks slightly better than you currently do. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, please put them in the chat box. Thank you. In this video, I want to show you the audit log within QuickBooks Online. The audit log is going to show you a log or a history of everything that's been done to your QuickBooks, as well as who was signed in when it took place. So let's go to reports on the left hand side of the screen. In the upper right hand corner, it says find by and we'll just say audit. We'll use the mouse to select audit log. This is going to show you all the things that have happened within your QuickBooks, when it happened, as well as the user that did it. One quick thing to point out, you will see sign in but you won't see sign out unless the person who is working on the account specifically clicked on their initial in the upper right hand corner and then selected sign out. Most of us don't do that. Um, when we're working on client QuickBooks, we'll just toggle between them. We won't officially sign out. When our clients are working on their QuickBooks, they'll have to just close the browser tab when they're done. So small thing. One thing that I do like this for a lot is to look for anything that got deleted. Sometimes we accidentally delete things and it's helpful to see what's been deleted. So let's go ahead and filter and I'll show you that real quick. If you click on events and then you, sh you choose deleted voided transactions, it's going to show you anything that was deleted. In Make Believe Land, when I sign into the sample company, I'm Craig. And in Make Believe Land, and it really is April 9th. I recognize that a moment ago when we were looking at everything, it showed stuff through April 10th. It's just a, the magic of the company file. They can see into the future. But let's go back to deleted voided. This is something that I deleted just a moment ago in anticipation of the video. Let me show you the history so you can see kind of what it looks like and how to navigate this. So down here it says added by undefined because it's a sample. Here's the information that was added. So the MasterCard account had a charge for $34. Auto expense had an expense for $34. The date of the transaction was on 4-8. The date this was added was on 4-9. And then what happened next was on 4-9. It got deleted. So kind of useful, kind of helpful. It's nice to know that you can pull deleted information, especially if you thought something was there and then suddenly you can't find it again. It's just helpful to know, yeah, it was there. And now I have to go re-add it, but I'm not crazy. It was there. <laughs> Quick note, there is no undelete button. There is no restore. If you deleted something by mistake, get a big cup of coffee because there is a strong chance you'll have to re-enter it manually. I hope this video has been helpful. If my team or I can do anything for you, please don't hesitate to let us know. Thanks.